Okay, and um, we are live, as Griff says. So welcome to the project showcase. This is a, a trusted seed uh, little space uh, for members of the community to actually pro uh, showcase <laughs> their projects outside Commons Stack and Trusted Seed. Um, as you may know, uh, the Trusted Seed is a curated community of uh, Web3 builders, uh, philanthropists, and people who want to see change in the world. Well, we have a new kind of new concept that is called refi, right? Uh, regenerative finance and all this stuff. So, uh, but yeah, I think uh, most of the movement, it makes sense, but uh, the movement is people who actually wants to make an impact and people who have an intention of creating for good. And, and yeah, one of these uh, person uh, is Chris Cypher, who is joining us today to show us uh, a new tool that he's building. And and yeah, and he's a member of the Trusted Seed. So welcome, Chris, and thank you for, for accepting and coming to, to showcase your your project. Yeah, hey, um, thanks for the lovely introduction, Martha. Uh, always love to be here. I think last time also presented another of my and my friend's project maybe a couple of months ago. Um, yeah, and what is the usual setup? Should I just jump in a little bit? Uh, should I do a small introduction about me maybe first? Yeah, um, uh, tell us about yes. you and then you can uh, uh, give us an introduction to the product. Sure. Um, yeah, so I've been working in crypto since, let's say, 2017. Um, first, uh, doing a little bit consulting, working with uh, one company over two years, and then again forking out into consulting, building small projects. Um, there were, for example, two small early NFT projects, 2018, 19, um, where we did this Christmas card NFTs that you could send to friends, and we would let people pay for it. A little amount of ease back then, but now it's worth way more. <laughs> um, that we would pool and then root through Giveth. I think we were actually like the first uh, like project, external project on Giveth. Um, and yeah, give it to a couple of good causes. And that was that was really fun to build stuff with friends and uh, do NFTs back then and so on, innovate a little bit. Yeah, and then I again joined like one bigger company and worked with different DAOs after that and yeah, just I've um, always been interested in building open source and building sort of public good infrastructure, right? Um, and then also I've been working with the larger DAO since, let's say, one year, um, where I've noticed, and I guess all of you are part of DAOs, uh, noticed just some shortcomings and some inefficiencies and so on. And yeah, one idea was to build my own DAO tool with friends that tries to be super open and tries to give people space to experiment to solve these inefficiencies and like streamline different processes and so on and yeah and then what we call better that's what came out of it and yeah i think i can like run you through the bigger vision first then show a small demo um, where the big idea is hey there's all these contributors to DAOs, right like there's the project itself the, the core team, there's external contributors that always change and there are users of the DAP that the DAO is building. And then there are outside funders, right? Could be VCs, could be individuals, there could be a token involved and could be a lot of retail investors that hold this token, have a say in governance and so on. Um, and then in crypto, what's pretty unique is that everybody can be a stakeholder, right? And everybody wears multiple hats, could be a user and uh, part of the project, part of a uh, fund as well at the same time, right? Um, and if you if you think that everybody has input, right? But like not all the input gets gets heard, and then there's always kind of a kind of bottleneck of the team uh, having to organize everything and having to make decisions. And uh, yeah, we just thought about the use case of user feedback tooling basically first. That's how we started, where think about devs have all these users and users have all these ideas and 
they just drop these ideas all, all everywhere, right? Like on social media, on Twitter, in Telegram chats, in Discord, and so on. And just takes five minutes, and you know, um, then nobody scrolls up the up the group chat or the Twitter feed, and you know, notes these ideas and writes them down and feeds them into actually product development flow. And um, in Web two, you would have these these tools that allow you to track user feedback from anywhere really, right? From social media, from inside the dApp, um, and put them in a list, put them in, in GitHub, for example, and then let the open source project or let the team actually implement them. So that's how we first started, um, just building a, a tool that allows you to track user feedback and um, yeah, just put it into GitHub and show the team the priorities, right? And then we added voting and we added funding so you can actually turn those issues and those feature ideas into a bounty and let external contributors actually work on it. Um, and that's, the, that's basically the current state and that's what I want to show you right now. Um, and if you can let me know if you can see my screen. That would be great. It's loading for me. Loading? Yeah. Okay, that's a good bit of time. Um, okay, otherwise, let me just drop the link in the in the chat. Where the link to GitHub, which should be a public repo, uh, which lets you add issues. You could add anything from uh, from feature requests or bugs that you have for ground proposals that you would put on a forum, just add everything to there and then tag it with uh, live on progress and then this site cs.betterhq.org um, would just mirror all these issues in this sort of common board. Uh, can you actually see it right now? It's not working for me, but I can share the screen. Well, it's still loading. Yeah. I can't, I can't see. see. You can see? I, oh, I can't see the, the screen. Okay. <laughs> my problem. Okay. Um, maybe I can stop screaming. Maybe, uh, maybe Martha, you, you could go to the side and stream it if you want. Yeah, I'm streaming. Oh, yeah, you're already right streaming, right? Yeah. Cool. Um, let me watch your stream and then coordinate okay um so what you see there yeah right i made a couple of example issues and um, yeah they would show up in cs.betterhq.org link i also shared in the community hall which uh, which gives you that that common board if you could go through the discord and then click on that link you can show it and uh, yeah through that uh, third page the cover board, you could fund any of those issues, put them up as a bounty, give them a deadline. As long as the deadline is open, anybody can pull money in that issue and anybody can apply similar to Gitcoin uh, to work on this bounty. And then if they successfully implement it, for example, a de development bounty or a content bounty written that blog post, then they can claim the bounty, right? Oh. And the other feature is that anybody can connect their wallet and vote or um, upvote or downvote an issue, and then the team or external contributors see the priority of the backlog, right? And based on that, can pick an issue to work on. Which by itself is, is kind of useful already, right? And then you could implement something like conviction voting, for example, right? Let's, let's just continuously vote on these kind of issues. For example, some, some governance issues. Um, or you could uh, implement quadratic funding, right? And say, hey, maybe Comstack has this pool of money that needs to be allocated and we don't want to run a completely centralized grants program, but instead we just want to have a whitelisted list of users that we allow to vote on where, say, each month the, the capital gets allocated. And it's, I think it's sort of what Comstack already does, right? Like vote on where to allocate money and also which people to support, maybe giving out individual grants to individual people, right? Um, yeah, and that's the that's the MVP that built right now. Um, it works on near testnet because they gave us a grant basically. Um, 
And Solidity contract is written, so the funding would soon also work uh, on event chains, and then the Connect Wallet button also would route to your MetaMask and lets you authenticate. Um, the whitelisting works with the uh, with Git XYC, so you could whitelist wallets and you can connect them to your Discord and then say, hey, I want to whitelist everybody with this role, for example, in Discord, right? Um, yeah, that's the setup right now, and then Again, the bigger ideas, the, the, like the bigger technical philosophy behind it is that everything is open source and then it has these different modules that you could exchange, right? It has voting identity, it has the payment for the bounties, and it has this back end for which you right now use GitHub. Um, because most people use GitHub for project management, right? And then the idea is that, hey, you can actually exchange these individual modules. You could uh, use we for IPFS as a back end and you could fund through different blockchains, right? Like XDAI and chain, if you don't want to spend too much money, too many fees for like a super small bounty of like 10 bucks, and then you probably don't want to have it on mainnet, right? And then same for the voting, maybe you want to um, integrate Snapchat, uh, Snapshot as a voting backend, or you want to do it on chain, or you want to do it off chain with uh, Twitter identity or Discord identity, right? Um, that's all philosophy and then how you can get started also fits that philosophy. You just go through our, to our repo and you click fork. <laughs> and then there are a couple of steps that you go through to set your DNS to basically host this page on your own site, right? It could be on uh, roadmap.comstack.com. Uh, and the same could go for any DAO, for any DAB, you know, Uniswap could host it. Uh, to track their user feedback and so on. Could also host a complete grants program if you wanted, um, right? Instead of having these layer ones that take these uh, Google Forms, you could make it completely uh, transparent on GitHub and show everybody who's these applicants and then allow anybody to vote, upvote or downvote on ideas and then actually free the team from vetting all these projects, right? Um, yeah, that's basically the idea. Uh, right now, we are looking for devs to play with it and for DAOs to play with it, maybe for layer ones, anybody that want to run a grants program through it. And as I said, it's super easy to get started. You just fork the repo and then uh, set your DNS, and that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, there's a small roadmap also, like I said, Solidity, MetaMask. Um, we want to play a little bit with ceramic and more decentralized identity solutions. Um, yeah. And if you have any input on that, on the roadmap, if you know any DAOs or devs that want to play with it, that would be super cool. Um, yeah, and the only thing remaining left to say is I'm in Barcelona right now. If anybody's eager to meet up, would be awesome to talk about this, talk about crypto in general or anything about life. <laughs> and yeah, thanks for letting me speak. And to your questions or feedback. Thank you, Chris, for sharing all this work with us. And this is great. Uh, I was actually uh, saying that we're about to launch uh, a dashboard uh, very soon for the trusted seed. And, and yeah, this is something that, that maybe we can use in the future. Um, so the floor is open. Uh, part of this, uh, the idea of this space is that uh, the members share the projects, but also ask for help. As Chris said, uh, you guys are welcome to, to collaborate with him, uh, but also to share feedback and ideas. So I don't know if, is there any questions from, from the participants? David, uh, I see Mike here. Uh, welcome Mike to the project showcase. Yeah, I'll take a shot, Chris. Um, you have to forgive me because I am I'm not a techie. I'm a you know sort of a social mission looking to bring our mission to the DAO world or the DAO world to our mission. But I know a little bit, and you know I I, I built a a database using a SaaS for you know our mission data and our ops and finance. So I'm not totally stupid, um, but. Um, so when I saw, I just, so I can learn more about what you're doing and everything else. Um, you said that you're looking for a DAO that might like to experiment 
with what looks to me to be a very cool dashboard. Okay. And one way I think what you said is that a DAO could experiment is by uh, using your tool to run its uh, a grant um, opportunity or program. So could you just tell me a little bit more, uh, give me a, an example of like, you know, what kind of DAO, what a DAO might be doing? I, I think I know probably they're building techie stuff to, you know, make W3 work better, but, um, and then need money, you know, to do that tech work and maybe some of the legal work, but, but maybe you could give me an sure. example of somebody who would be an ideal uh, taker of your service. Sure. Um, yeah, maybe yeah. like a little bit on the idea behind it, right? So, um, there, there are these DAOs, let's take Uniswap, for example, that are focused on building a product, Uniswap Business Decentralized Exchange. Um, and they launch a token, they have a bunch of money in their treasury, and they want to allocate this treasury to anything that's useful to their cause. And the cause probably, you know, make the price go up a little bit, but also get adoption for the, um, get like, a, yeah grow the user base for the product, but also help crypto in general and spin up these experiments to help, to help like East2 and public goods funding and so on. Um, so they have all these goals and they want to allocate money to that. And the way they do it currently is kind of inefficient and slow and kind of bothersome for any external contributor um, that wants to get money to do something useful, right? So you would go to the forum, you write a text, and you wait four weeks or so for anybody to, to answer, make decision, people vote on it and so on, right? That's, um, yeah, the, the idea again is also that if you do a proposal, you already need to have a team, you already need to, you know, um, dedicate, like commit to roadmap and so on. You have this like a little bit of risk of not being accepted while putting the work up in front. And then what we try to do is to break this down, right? And say, hey, there are people with good ideas and then other people will, who are free to put their work in and then the third party that uh, wants to put in their money. And in that case, the third party would be the project team, like the treasury of Uniswap. Um, yeah, and people could just throw in all kinds of ideas, right? Like there's no bad idea, but then people would vote on it. Could be a white list of people with a certain role in Uniswap Discord, could be uh, project members that get like double vote or whatever configuration you want to have, right? And that way you would sort these lists and give them a different weight. And that way external contributors, again, could already, they don't have to write up a proposal, but instead they choose the best idea, right? Because if a team member already voted on that idea, they have to signal, hey, if I actually start working on that, then the probability is high that I get paid for it, right? And uh, yeah, and same for all of these all of these roles, right? They could put their ideas in there, could they put their funding in there upfront or whatever, or they could join later and say, hey, if somebody starts working on it, then I see this updated GitHub, I get notified and maybe I just want to start the team later because I'm less of a risk taker, right? But all of these different features, they don't work in the, in the current process. It's, it's really kind of slow process right now with uh, DAO forums. Um, does it answer your question? Or? Yeah, that's very that's very helpful, and it kind of remind. So, even though um, Trusted Seed is the first um, DAO I've joined, I have popped into a couple others, including one called DevX DAO, and they have uh, two weekly calls on uh, Discord, maybe it's Telegram. Anyway, um, they are really excited that guys running that DAO are really excited about where I'm trying to get to. And it's it's more or less putting together a housing portfolio that would be owned by the tenants and the workers who built it. Um, so talking about the distribution of equity and trying to localize uh, power and keep it local and to permanently decentralize ownership so no one entity can take it over. So like good fit there. But anyway, what I'm trying to get to is you have to, so, so they want me to apply for a grant, but I don't have a tech team yet. Like, so one of the things I'm doing here is trying to meet people so I can figure out how to put together a tech team. 
And I have some lawyers that I'm working with, but it's all still very loose. All that to say, like, I'm not ready to apply for a grant, but I can't be a member of that DAO until I apply for a grant. So I'm stuck in this chicken and egg moment. And it, it sounds to me like what you just said, you know, might solve for that. It lets you start the conversation while it's still, you know, very iterative ra rather than a, you know, a final proposal and white paper all being in play. Yeah, interesting. So like the example we we're talking about is exactly your situation, right? And I guess, um, yeah, the reason why we want to just have a, a lot of uh, devs and DAOs host this is that it starts with ideas, right? It's super easy to just tell your users, put all the ideas in there, anything that you want to fix on our website, if you want to have dark mode, or you know, like from simple things to to grant yours visionary things, um, just put them in there because it's just a backlog, right? Like nobody gets hurt by, by having these ideas in there. Um, you could just spam as much as you want and right? and that that would be you. And then people would like your idea and then that way devs would discover it and already get, get like some sort of security about uh, like promise of grant money, etc. Very cool, very cool. I'm glad I stepped in today. I will. I will dig deeper and take a look. Yeah, yeah thanks very for coming, cool. man. Yeah. Oh yeah. Anybody else who who has feedback or um, wants to roast me, wants to roast the idea? <laughs> uh, hi, Chris. Hey. Uh, so one of my question is uh, like I I feel like it's similar to uh, one of one of the components uh, one of the website like token lock and uh, one of the thing I want to ask you like uh, you talked about the conviction voting and all that so I want to talk like what kind of voting procedure does this dashboard support is it like conviction voting or something like uh, like quadrating voting or can a person customize or can a company uh, with a customize what voting procedure they want something like that. So, yeah, good point on, on token lock. Um, yeah. I think the difference to token lock is that, like Wesley, he built that, right? Like he would allow you to vote with tokens, which means that the, the target group is only DAOs that already have a token, um, where we want to keep it modular and allow, yeah, what you're saying, basically to integrate different voting mechanisms, right? And um, because we just want to start with the, with a mix of like the the simple solution technically for us and the one that is simplest for the user and the project, and um, because of that we just start with a like a wallet Discord setup where you just plug in the Guild XYC SDK, and um, yeah, give the user just like the lowest UX barrier to to be able to vote while we still allow the team to whitelist right. Like we don't want to have somebody make 10k accounts and like simple attack the the product backlog. Um, but yeah, that, the idea is to keep it modular and start with a simple thing and then just ask all our uh, like users, right? Like all these different projects that deploy the better board, which solutions they would prefer and their users would prefer and then work with that feedback basically. And then ultimately we would have a really small website right now. It's just like the code on, uh, on GitHub and a small readme. But ultimately, it could be cool to have a website where, you know, you can like drag and drop the funding, drag and drop the identity and voting and, and drag and drop the, the interface and so on, right? And then as a project, just put all of this together and then deploy it from yeah, like a super easy to use front end. And awesome. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Thanks. Cool. cool. Yeah. Nice question. And um, yeah, just to give one idea, so right now, uh, if you devs use it for like uh, user feedback, and then there's one project that uses it to to like outsource uh, content production, like write blog posts and tweets, stuff like that for bigger ecosystem. Um, yeah, and there's a layer one that also uses it, I would say as an alternative to snapshot, basically just for voting. Which, yeah, all of these things are pretty cool. And honestly, we just have this this one view that tries to accommodate all these different use cases. But in the future, we also want to you know, have different different views than just a common board, right? Like optimize it for all these different use cases and so on. Love that. This is great. 
uh well i don't know if there's any other questions but uh if not uh chris if you can give us uh social media or uh how to contact you uh in case we want to collaborate or someone watching this video uh wants to meet you or uh, talk about further um, develop of the project uh, can you share any point of contact sure um feel free to just dm you on twitter i guess that works um or dm better DAO on twitter and our website is betterhq.org and from there you will find the discord and the twitter links as well um, i'd also post them in the channel here so you can scroll through that and yeah would love to chat with anybody that is interested in it or anybody that knows somebody and uh, you know uh, no airdrop promises but who knows <laughs> maybe <laughs> in the far future we will yeah whatever but uh really appreciate you guys to host me okay. and appreciate all the all the feedback thank you for the alpha <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah great. well thank you guys for for joining us uh well this is a, a call that is scheduled for 30 minutes so um but sometimes we extend a little bit more. Uh, if you have, if you guys have any questions, please uh, put it on the community hall uh, chat channel because we are using the one that that is the voice. Uh, and feel free to tag uh, Chris Sai uh, there, and I, I'm sure he will be answering uh, there. Well, thank you so much for joining us, and this is the Trusted Seed uh, Project Showcase. If you want to uh showcase your project or an, an idea or anything that you would like to to share with the community uh please dm me or gina we are open to uh for further uh, for other projects to showcase here uh if you are a trusted seed member uh of course feel free to dm us also for your membership uh information or if you want to apply to be a, tr a trusted seed member uh, you can also DM us for, for more information. Thank you guys for, for coming and see you next time. Bye, everybody. Cheers, guys.